Hi, welcome. Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on a Dell Pavilion desktop. Here you can see that the model number is TP01 1030. It comes with the Intel i3 10 generation CPU. It has 8 gigs of RAM, DDR4. This comes with 512 gigabyte NVMe M.2 solid state drive. It has the built-in graphics card, the Intel graphics. It has the DVD drive in the front as well as the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth connection. So let me show you the front. This is how it looks like in the front. So the power button on the top right corner has the headphone jack, four USB ports, USB-C at the bottom, and that's how it looks like. Okay, and this is the back. Pretty simple, straightforward audio jacks hdmi output you can do dual monitor either um, single monitor on hdmi or vga or you can do two monitor dual monitor side by side by running vga and hdmi usb ports ethernet ports there's no graphics part and the very bottom is still uh, is the power supply all right let's go ahead and lay it down that so the front panel is facing to my left and then this here is the back is on the right so let's go ahead and get yourself a t15 screwdriver this is the torque t15 let's go ahead and unscrew slide the uh, side panel to your right slide it up that's how you remove it here you can see that the uh, black metal as a support go ahead and remove that one screw here and once you remove the screw you can actually lift the thing up and then slide it out at 45 degree angle you see that three little uh, notch here is to slide into these three little holes there okay now once you have removed that Let's take a look at the optical drive. You have the cable here. Pull it to your right. There's no clipper that's secure. You just pull it out. This is the power cable for the optical drive. Same thing. Pull it to your right. Pull it out. And this is the green um, clipper. You want to press it and push it. And it will slide to your left to the front of the desktop. Now once you have that thing removed, go ahead and turn it around. What you want to do is you want to open up the, the latch here. Just lift it up slightly. It will just pop straight out. So this is your front panel. And you just remove that and put it on the side. Alright, so here you can see that there's one screw holding down. So you need to get the same screwdriver. T15 torque and go ahead and remove that screw. All right, once you have removed that screw, you can actually go ahead and slide the, uh, or lift it up and slide it at 45 degree angle to remove it. Again, that three little uh, notch here to clip onto the side of your desktop. Here, I'd like to talk to you about the upgrade that what you can do. So if you're gonna have the graphics card installed, you can only have one graphics card here. Probably you can install something uh, low profile graphics card, nothing high end because the power supply here does not provide any PCI, PCIe 6 pin connector or 8 pin connector. All right, so this is a low voltage power supply. It doesn't power up the, uh, the strong graphics card. So the graphics card that you can have is more likely something that is without the um, the connector so so let's just say that you bought this graphics card here you see this graphics card has a six pin power that you need and this power supply doesn't provide you that therefore you cannot install this you need to buy a graphics card that does not have or require power then you can insert into this PCIe for the upgrade if you prefer all right let's put this on the side now, I did make a separate video on 
what happened if the computer doesn't power on so assuming that there was a power outage at home or maybe there's a search at home and your desktop doesn't power on what could be wrong is either the power supply is burned out or maybe the uh, the motherboard is burned out right but definitely change the power supply first most of the time when there's a surge of power outage the power supply would get burned out first before the um, the motherboard now let's take a look at the model here so if you take a closer look it says the part number is l70042-002 or maybe the model number here it says d19-180p1a and the power supply is very straightforward um, I made a separate video on how to change the power supply so at the end of the video you go ahead and check out this little uh, square box right there I'll link it on that side of the uh, uh, the video where you can check out how to replace a power supply okay so let's talk about the upgrade here on the computer uh, it has two RAM slot so you can see that secondary RAM, RAM slot is available you can buy a DDR4 um, 8 gigs of RAM so you can add 8 and 8 so that would go to 16 gigabytes of RAM so secondary slot is available for upgrade um, this is your M.2 NVMe drive the M.2 is 512 you can upgrade to 1 terabyte or higher what you want to do is you want to get yourself you want to get yourself the uh, the USB adapter like this and then maybe a one terabyte M.2 drive stick it in and you want to clone everything over from the original M.2 to the new one terabyte drive so again I make a separate video on how to clone the original drive to the larger drive uh, and you need to have this USB adapter so I'll link everything in the description below where you can buy the parts uh, from Amazon or eBay all right so again um, if you're interested adding secondary drive so make sure you install the bracket back in so here you can install the 3.5 inch or the 2.5 inch I assume that you're planning to install the 3.5 you can actually go ahead and install you do need to have the screws because it doesn't come with the screw here therefore you need to buy the screw separately and go ahead and screw it in at the four corners one two three and four slide it in and you can install by using this here right so this is the uh, connector you can install for the setup and this is the power and you can just put it in by like that so adding additional hard drive is possible in this laptop what about if you want to add a 2.5 inch it is possible as well so this is 2.5 SSD drive if you want to add it I believe hopefully is this way uh, yeah this way this is how you're going to install the 2.5 inch where you put the screws at the bottom one two three and that should more than enough to hold on to it and then slide it in and connect all the cables and the power this is pretty much it for the upgrade uh, not much you can do with this desktop simple power supply you can do a beefy graphics card um, you can upgrade the secondary drive if you prefer the RAM or maybe a larger M.2 that's pretty much it for this this um, this particular desktop and again um, if you have any question feel free to comment below I do read your, uh, I do read the comment and I'll try to answer you um, from there and um, if you find this video is helpful please go ahead and give me a like subscribe uh, that would definitely help me to uh, uh, definitely help me and motivate me to be off this video okay let me go ahead and put the uh, the thing all back together here slide that 
support. Make sure you put the optical drive first. Slide it in. Once it's in, do not forget the uh, power. And do not forget the, uh, the SATA cable. Connect that back together. And then your front panel right here. So slide it in. Oops, I apologize. I wasn't paying attention. I actually need to slide the, uh, the thing in first. Once you have the front panel installed, now you can slide the optical drive back in, connect the cable back, and the power. Okay, that's pretty much it for the front and slide the side panel back together. And you're all set and put the final screws in. Okay, so I hope this video is helpful and you learned something today. Um, thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye now.